Like the, the first time, the first hour, one, one ever heard about the death of my sister. I'm really sad. I don't find words to express myself, to express my emotions. On February 7th, 2021, Marian Bundawi was killed in a drive-by shooting here in St. Leonard. She was 15 years old. She was in a car with her friends chatting at the time, having come to buy a birthday cake for her sister. A year later, the community, her family and friends are coming together to remember the teen, a wound still fresh for so many, as they continue calls for justice for Miriam and to end violence. Only justice, justice, justice of all of my sister and all the others, all the others. Flowers lay across the table where photos of Safia Bundawi's little sister are placed. A moment of silence was held at the scene of the tragedy from one year ago, and heartfelt speeches were given by members of the community. I don't know her personally, but it was important for me to come talk because it's a message like this. People will hear and maybe it will make them act. So sad. She was so young. Yeah. She was here for a bit of future to study. I was born and raised here in Selena. You know how many times I did this street? I was just telling them. I used to go to Dante's school. I was a little girl. I was uh, five years old. Times when I used to walk home and see the Flintstones and come back. And I used to feel so safe and secure. And today I have three daughters. And I'll be honest, I don't feel the same anymore. To date, no arrests have been made in the case. André Gelina, retired detective sergeant from the SPVM, says the federal government needs to react on the source of where illegal firearms are coming from in order to prevent more tragedies like this one from occurring. Marianne Bendawi, she was an innocent girl. Uh, she was not involved in crime. And that thing could happen to any of our children and anybody here. Okay, that's that's one thing you have to, we have to understand. It's no longer between criminals. Since Miriam's death, three other minors were killed in less than a year in Montreal. The most recent and first homicide of 2022, 17-year-old Amir Benayad, who died after being shot in Montreal's Plateau Mont-Royal district. <laughs> A été le premier d'une série qui se sont déroulés dans l'Est de Montréal. The sadness of the dozens of people who gathered could be felt in the cold Montreal air Monday afternoon, a moment one year later to pay homage to the young Miriam who won't be forgotten, especially by her big sister. She's not dead in the reality. She is still in our heart. She is still living our, with us. That's all. In Montreal, Pamela Pagano, City News.